uh, hi everyone in this video we'll talk about another math trick which can be used for faster calculation uh, today we'll talk about how to square any three digit number without using a calculator so let me begin with the example so suppose if I have 206 and I want to square this number so how will I do that so in that case first I will look at the first digit and uh, I will take a square of digit so the square of 2 is 4 so 2 square is 4 uh, then I will take the last digit and I will take a square of that digit so square of 6 is 36 right and now to get the middle numbers what I'll do is I'll multiply 2 and 6 this 2 and 6 and then I'll multiply again with 2 and that will be uh, 6 into 4 24 so that will be the answer Uh, let me take uh, another example so uh, suppose if I have um, 409 and I want to do a square in that case um, 4 square is equal to 16 9 square is equal to 81 and 4 into 9 into 2 so 9 uh, into 8 that is uh, 72 so my answer is 167281 so that's our answer now uh, if we have something which is uh, more uh, uh, bigger or in, I will give you example of a carryover so now suppose if I have 825 and I want to do a square of this number so this will be a little different so here the approach will be same so 8 square so 8 square is 64 and then 25 square so 25 square is 625 right so we'll write 25 and then we have to write a 6 here because we can only use the two digits in the end now if we multiply 8 25 and 2 that will be 400 so we can only write two zeros here and I have to write a 4 here why because we can only take the two digits so now if we uh, add them together then it will be 6 and 4 plus 4 is 8 0 6 plus 0 is 6 and 25 so that will be my answer so if you practice uh, then you can always do this calculation without even writing it on the paper now how this trick works so let's look into it so any three digit number can be written as in the following form uh, 100 x plus y uh, so if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6 then it will be 306 right now if I need to square this number so in that case it will be equal to 10,000 x square plus 200 x y plus y square now you can see that we have four zeros for x square two zeros for 2xy and no zeros for y square so if we add them together so it will look something like that x square 0 0 0 0 right and then we have 2 xy 0 0 so this 2 xy will go on to the uh, next two digits here right and then we have y square which will go here so because there is a zero here so the y square can occupy this two digits in the end so again if i have x is equal to 9 and uh, y is equal to uh, 
11 then you can see that uh, 9 square is 81 so there is no limit for x square here right uh, and then uh, we have uh, uh, 2xy so 2 into 9 into 11 so that will be equal to 18 into 11 and that will be equal to 1 nine eight so we'll have one ninety eight and then we have y square so eleven square is one twenty one so twenty one and one here okay so in that case the answer would be equal to eight nine 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 twenty one so that's your answer so I hope this uh, video helps and I'll see you in the next metric. Thank you.